us against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and into ages of Amen. Lord, mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Hear a just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from lips free of deceit. From thee let my vindication come, let my eyes see the right. If thou triest my heart, it is me by night. If thou testest me, thou wilt find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress. With regards to the works of men, by the word of thy lips I have avoided the way of the violent. My steps have held fast to thy path, my feet have not slipped. I call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me, O God. Incline thy ear to me, hear my words. Wondrously show thy steadfast love, O Savior, of those who seek refuge from their adversaries at thy right hand. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me in the shadow of thy wings from the wicked who despoil me, my deadly enemies who surround me. They close their hearts to pity with their mouths, they speak arrogantly, they track me down, now they surround me, they set their eyes to cast me to the ground. They are like a lion eager to tear a young lion lurking in ambush. Arise, O Lord, confront them, overthrow them. Deliver my life from the wicked by thy sword. From men by thy hand, O Lord, from men whose portion in life is of the world. May their belly be filled with what thou hast stored up for them. May their children have more than enough. May they leave something over to their babes. As for me, I shall behold thy face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be beholding thy form. To thee, O Lord, I lift up my soul, O my God. In thee I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exalt over me. Yea, let none that wait for thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths, lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. For thee I wait all the day long, be mindful of thy mercy, O Lord, and of thy steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions according to thy steadfast love. Remember me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. He himself shall abide in prosperity and his children shall shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. My eyes are ever towards the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thou to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distresses. Consider my affliction and my trouble, and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes, and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in thee. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for thee. Redeem Israel, O oh God, out of all his troubles. Have mercy on me, O oh God, according to thy steadfast love, according to thy abundant mercy, blood of my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, the only have I sinned, and in that which is evil in thy sight, so thou art justified in thy sense, and blameless in thy judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward being, that would teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with a fish, kiss up, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. 
Fill me with joy and gladness with the bones which thou hast broken. Rejoice. Hide in some blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation. Uphold me the willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways and sinners will return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of thy deliverance. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou hast no delight in sacrifice, for I to give a burnt offering, thou wouldst not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. To good design and thy good pleasure rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then would thou delight in right sacrifices and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. The angelic powers were at thy tomb. The guards became as dead men. Mary stood by thy grave, seeking thy most pure body. Thou didst capture hell, not being tempted by it. Thou didst come to the virgin, granting life. O Lord, who didst rise from the dead, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst spring up, O most holy one, as a branch and stem of holiness, a most sacred flower of the contest of martyrdom, and as a most sweet fruit given by God to the faithful, but as the one who shared the struggle of the martyrs and the throne of the hierarchs, intercede with Christ God that our souls may be saved. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, who has budded forth the fruit of life. Entreat thee, O sovereign lady, intercede together with all the, with the holy apostles and all the saints, that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us. For he is our God, the God of salvation. Holy Godly, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy Godly, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy Godly, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and into ages of ages. Amen. God, the giver of life, raised all of the dead from the valleys of misery with his mighty hand. He bestowed resurrection on the human race. He is the savior of all the resurrection, the life and the God of all. Lord, mercy, 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 Lord, mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of
who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by them we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, give the blessing, Father. Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, Thou only begotten Son, and Thou, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy upon me, a sinner, and according to Thy divine judgment, save me, Thine unworthy servant, for blessed art Thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Venez adorons Dieu notre roi, venez adorons et prosternons-nous devant le Christ, le roi notre Dieu. Venez, adorons et prosternons-nous devant le Christ lui-même, notre roi et notre Dieu. Ô oh Dieu, en ton nom, sauve-moi et par ta puissance, rends-moi justice. Ô oh Dieu, exauce ma prière, prête l'oreille aux paroles de ma bouche. Car des étrangers se sont levés contre moi, des ennemis puissants cherchent mon âme. Ils ne mettent pas Dieu devant leurs yeux. Mais voici que Dieu vient à mon secours et le Seigneur prend mon âme avec lui. Fais retomber le mal sur mes adversaires, en ta vérité détruis-les. De toute ma volonté, je t'offrirai un sacrifice, je confesserai ton nom, Seigneur, car il est bon. Car tu m'as délivré de toutes mes tribulations, et mon œil a vu de loin mes ennemis. Prête l'oreille à ma prière, ô oh Dieu, et ne méprise pas ma supplication. Sois attentif, écoute-moi, tandis que je médite, ta tristesse m'accable. Les cris de l'ennemi, la tribulation qui me vienne du pécheur me jette dans le trouble. Il déverse sur moi l'iniquité, avec rage il me persécute. Mon cœur est troublé au-dedans de moi, les terreurs de la mort sont tombées sur moi. Crainte et tremblement m'ont saisi, les ténèbres m'enveloppent. Et j'ai dit, qui me donnera des ailes comme celles de la colombe Je m'envolerai, je trouverai le repos. Voici que je me suis enfui au loin et j'ai demeuré au désert. Des Dieu, lui qui me sauve de la peur et de la tempête. Submerge-les, Seigneur, divise leur langue, car je vois l'iniquité et la contestation dans la ville. De jour et de nuit, elle l'entoure et occupe ses remparts. L'iniquité, la souffrance et l'injustice sont au milieu d'elle. Et jamais l'usure et la tromperie ne s'éloignent de ses places. Si encore un ennemi m'avait insulté, je l'aurais supporté, et si contre moi s'élevait celui qui me hait, je pourrais me dérober. Mais toi, un homme avec qui je n'avais qu'une âme, dont j'avais fait mon chef, mon compagnon, avec moi tu partageais de douces nourritures dans la maison de Dieu. Nous marchions en parfait accord, que sur eux font de la mort, qu'ils descendent vivant aux enfers, car le mal est dans leur cœur au, de, au milieu d'eux. Pour moi, j'ai crié vers Dieu et le Seigneur m'a exaucé. Le soir, le matin et à midi, j'en ferai le récit. J'en publierai la nouvelle et il exaucera, exaucera ma demande. Il rachètera mon âme et l'établira dans la paix, loin de ceux qui m'attaquent, car ils sont nombreux contre moi. Il entendra Dieu et il humiliera lui qui est avant les siècles, car il n'y a pas pour eux d'amendement parce qu'ils ne, ne craignent pas Dieu. Il a étendu la main pour leur rendre ce qu'ils méritaient. Ils se ont profané son alliance. Ils ont été dispersés par la colère de sa face et leurs cœurs se sont fermés. Leurs paroles sont plus douces que lui. Ils se sont des traits acérés. Jette ton souci sur le Seigneur et lui te nourrira. Il ne laissera pas le juste éternellement agité par les flots. 
Et toi, ô oh Dieu, tu pousses les impies dans le gouffre de perdition. Les hommes de sang et de ruse ne verront pas la moitié de leur jour. De leur jour. Et moi, j'espère en toi, Seigneur. Celui qui demeure sous la protection du Très-Haut repose à la prix du Dieu du ciel. Il dira au oh Seigneur, tu es mon soutien et mon refuge. Il est mon Dieu, je mets en lui mon espérance. Car c'est lui qui me délivrera du lacet des chasseurs et des paroles qui sèment le trouble. Il te couvrira à l'ombre de ses épaules et sous ses ailes tu trouveras l'espérance. Sa vérité t'entourera comme un bouclier. Tu ne craindras pas les terreurs de la nuit ni la flèche qui vole pendant le jour, ni ce qui chemine dans les ténèbres, ni la chute ni le démon de Misi, ni le tombeau à tes côtés, ni mille à ta droite. Mais toi, l'ennemi ne pourra t'approcher. Il suffira que tes yeux regardent et tu verras le châtiment des pécheurs. Car toi, Seigneur, tu es mon espérance. Tu as fait du très haut ton refuge. Le mal ne pourra t'atteindre ni le fléau approcher de ta tente. Car il a pour toi donné ordre à ses anges de te garder sur toutes ses voies. Sur te, leurs mains, ils te porteront pour que ton pied ne heurte contre la pierre. Sur la spigue et la basilique, tu marcheras. Tu fouleras le lion et le dragon, puisqu'il a espéré en moi, je le délivrerai. Je le protégerai parce qu'il a connu mon nom. Il criera vers moi et je l'exaucerai. Je serai avec lui dans la tribulation. Je le délivrerai, je le glorifierai. Je le rassasirai de longs jours et je ferai qu'il voie mon salut. Gloire au Père, au Fils et au Saint-Esprit, maintenant et toujours et au siècle des siècles. Amen. Alléluia, 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 gloire à toi, ô oh Dieu. Alléluia, 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 gloire à toi, ô oh Dieu. Alléluia, 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 gloire à toi, ô oh Dieu. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. The angelic powers were at thy tomb, their guard became as dead men. Mary stood by thy grave, seeking thy most pure body. Thou didst capture hell, not the being tempted by it. Thou the virgin granting life, O Lord, who didst rise from the dead, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst bring up, O most holy one, as a branch of stem of holiness, O most sacred flower of the contest of martyrdom, and at the most sweet fruit given to, by God to the faithful. But as one who shared the struggle of the martyrs and the throne of the Yaraks, intercede with Christ God that our souls may be saved, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Nous n'avons pas ta liberté à cause du nombre de tes fautes, mais toi supplie celui qui est né de toi, Vierge Mère de Dieu, car la prière de la Mère peut beaucoup sur la bienveillance du Maître. Toute vénérable reçoit les prières des pécheurs, car il est compatissant et peut sauver, lui qui accepte même de souffrir pour nous. Que nous parviennent tes compassions, Seigneur, car nous sommes au comble de la misère. Secours-nous, Dieu notre Sauveur, pour la gloire de ton nom. Seigneur, délivre-nous et pardonne nos péchés à cause de ton nom. Saint Dieu, Saint Fort, Saint Immortel, prends pitié de nous. Saint Dieu, Saint Fort, Saint Immortel, prends pitié de nous. Saint Dieu, Saint Fort, Saint Immortel, prends pitié de nous. Gloire au Père, au Fils et au Saint-Esprit, maintenant et toujours et au siècle des siècles. Amen. Toute Sainte Trinité, prends pitié de nous. Seigneur, purifie-nous de nos péchés. Maître, pardonne-nous nos iniquités. Saint, visite-nous et guéris nos infirmités à cause de ton nom. Crélissant, 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 gloire au Père, au Fils et au Saint-Esprit, maintenant et toujours et au siècle des siècles. Amen. Notre Père qui es aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain substantiel. Pardonne-nous nos offenses comme nous les pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Il ne nous soumet pas à la tentation, mais délivre-nous du malin. Car à toi appartiennent le règne, la puissance et la gloire, Père et Fils, et Saint-Esprit, maintenant et toujours et dans les siècles des siècles. Amen. Thou hast become an honored branch of the vine, O Christ, revealed as, revealed as one of many struggles. 
Of all praised lament, which thy fellow champions thou didst cry out, Christ is the shining joy of the martyrs. Toi qui en tout temps et à toute heure sur la terre, au ciel et sur la terre, et à d'autres pays glorifié, Christ Dieu plein d'amour et de miséricorde, toi qui aimes les justes et à pitié des pécheurs, toi qui appelles les êtres au salut par la promesse des biens à venir. Toi-même, Seigneur, reçois aussi nos prières en cette heure et dirige nos vies dans tes commandements. Sanctifie nos âmes, purifie nos corps, redresse nos pensées, clarifie nos idées, délivre-nous de toute affliction, malheur et tourment. Entoure-nous du rempart de tes saints anges, afin que gardés et conduits par leur ordre, nous l'unité de la foi et la connaissance de ta gloire inaccessible. Car tu es béni dans les siècles des siècles. Amen. Kérilisson, 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 gloire au Père, au Fils et au Saint-Esprit, maintenant et toujours et au siècle des siècles. Amen. Toi, plus vénérable que les chérubins, plus glorieux incomparablement que les séraphins, toi qui sans tâche enfant à Dieu le Verbe, toi véritablement Mère de Dieu, nous t'exaltons. Au nom du Seigneur, Père béni. The prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Dieu est Seigneur des puissances et créateur de l'univers, qui dans le cœur de ton amour incomparable a envoyé ton Fils, notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, pour le salut de notre race, qui par sa croix précieuse a déchiré les livres de nos fautes, et qui a triomphé en lui des principes et des pouvoirs des ténèbres. Maître qui aime l'homme, reçois de nous les pécheurs ses actions de grâce et ses supplications. Délivre-nous de toute faute funeste et ténébreuse et de tous les ennemis visibles et invisibles qui cherchent à nous nuire. Cloue nos chairs par ta crainte et incline pas nos cœurs à des paroles et à des pensées de malice. Mais blesse nos âmes du désir de toi, afin que, regardant toujours vers toi, conduit par la lumière qui vient de toi et contemplant à toi la lumière inaccessible et éternelle, continuellement nous te confessions et te rendions grâce à toi, qui, le Père qui n'a pas de commencement, à ton Fils unique et à ton Esprit bon et vivifiant, maintenant et toujours et dans les siècles des siècles. Amen. To the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.
O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, Lord everywhere, present and feel is all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Metropolitan Deacon, for our Archbishop Irene, for the Honorable Priest to the Diocrity in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For this country, Her Majesty the Queen, the Prime Minister of Canada for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and countryside and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from action, brass, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remember us, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us command ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and into ages of ages. Bless the Lord. de nous et garde nos dieux par ta grâce. 
invoquant notre très sainte, immaculée, toute bénie et glorieuse, souveraine, la Mère de Dieu, toujours Vierge Marie et tous les saints, convions-nous nous-mêmes les uns les autres toute notre vie, au oh Christ notre Dieu. Car à toi appartiennent la force, à toi le règne, la puissance et la gloire, Père et Fils et Saint-Esprit, maintenant et toujours et dans les siècles des siècles. La Mère de Dieu, toujours Vierge Marie et tous les saints, convions-nous nous-mêmes les uns les autres toute notre vie, ô oh Christ notre Dieu. Car tu es un Dieu bon et ami des hommes, et nous te rendons gloire, Père, Fils et Saint-Esprit, maintenant et toujours et dans les siècles. Des siècles.
Jesus, just say no manner of evil against you falsely for our sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Blessed is the entrance of thy holy ones, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Sophia, Orthi, Thank you. 
Let us pray to the Lord. For holy art thou, our God, and to thee do we send thy glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Sits upon the Shirabim, always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us sit in peace be unto you and to your spirit. Wisdom. The Brokim and on in tone six. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Lord, 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 save thy people and bless thy inheritance, thy inheritance. To thee, O Lord, will I call, O my God, be not silent to me. O Lord, save thy people and bless thy inheritance. O Lord, save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Wisdom. The reading is from the first epistle. Let us return. Brethren, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. However, for this reason I obtained mercy that in me first Jesus Christ might show all long suffering as a pattern to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life. 
Now to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, to God, who alone is wise, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Mon enfant Timothée, elle est sûre, cette parole est digne de créance absolue. Le Christ Jésus est venu en ce monde pour sauver les pécheurs dont je suis le premier. Et si j'ai obtenu miséricorde, c'est pour qu'en moi le premier, le Christ Jésus puisse montrer toute sa longanimité. Ainsi, je verse d'exemple à ceux qui croiront en lui pour l'éternelle vie, au roi des seigneurs, au roi des siècles, au Dieu invisible et immortel, à son unique sagesse, honneur et gloire dans les siècles des siècles. Amen. Fils, be to thee, shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the heavenly God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. He will say to the Lord, my protector and my refuge, my God in whom I trust. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, stand the pride. Let us see the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto you all. from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us sit down at that time as he was coming near Jericho that a certain blind man set forth begging and healing a multitude passing by. He asked what it meant. So they told him that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by. And he cried out, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then those who went before warned him that he should be quiet. But he cried out all the more. Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be brought to him. And when he had come near, he asked him, saying, what do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed him 
glorify God. And all the people when they saw it, I want to see, I want to see, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Beloved in the Lord, before going into deta the details of the Gospel reading of today, I would like first to say that in regard to the gospel story I just read, I would like to bring to your attention that the church fathers give very deep spiritual interpretation to this miracle of the gospel. With the blind man symbolizing future generations who would come to faith only by hearing without the benefit of in person. We see this in the Gospel of St. John when Jesus said to Thomas because you have seen me you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. So the blind man of the gospel, this beggar, wanted only to see, wanted only to receive his sight. He wanted only to see. He was physically blind. Yes, he was physically blind but at the same time had great faith and hope that Christ can heal him I truly hope that all of us have the same great faith same as of this blind beggar See, I can imagine, you can imagine with me how it must be so hard. How it must be so hard for someone not to be able to see. Not to be able to see the beauty of God's creation. Also the beauty of the Orthodox Christian spirituality. We here in this parish, we are so blessed that we are able to see the beauty of all these icons in our parish. This is why we are so blessed that we are able to see, to see everything to see God's creation yesterday a blind man who has lived his life his entire life by the side of the road ask our Lord for healing he asked him to be able to see the beautiful colorful universe our Lord created he was suffering for so long. But when he knew that Jesus of Nazareth 
is passing by, he sees the opportunity to be healed. Like the blind man, we all suffer with some form of blindness. If not perhaps with our physical eyes, then blindness with our hearts and minds. Despite the fact that we are not physically blind and we are so blessed to see our families, our kids, our grandchildren, our friends, our neighbors, maybe not now, with all the strict restrictions in our province, but we can still see the sky, the moon, the stars, and all of God's creation, amazing creation. And guess what? We don't need a password for this. It is given to us freely. But despite of all these gifts offered to us, how often we look and focus on the wrong places. We do this a lot of time. We look and focus on the wrong places which lead us, sadly, into suffering and despair. And how often also we take everything for granted. And how often also sadly we don't appreciate what we have. This man was suffering for so long but because he couldn't see. You know, blindness of any type can be crippling. And this was so true for the man who sat begging on the side of the road. He calls out to Jesus two times. They tried to make him stop. But he kept insisting when he cry, cried out loud, even more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Then Jesus orders the man to be brought to him. And then, and I always thought this is so interesting, and though he is the Christ, the son of the living God, and it was probably pretty obvious what type of healing the man needed. I'm sure Jesus knew what this man needed. Jesus doesn't just go ahead and heal him. Instead, Jesus says to this man, what do you want me to do for you? You see, I stop for one second here and say, when we go to Jesus and also cry out loud saying, Son of David, have mercy on me. I'm pretty sure if we say it from all our hearts, with all humility, with all love to Christ our Lord, he would come to us spiritually in one way or another and say to us, what do you want me to do for you. The blind man of the gospel names his request. He says, Lord, I want to see. The blind man trusts that God is able to heal him. And when his sight was granted, when his sight was granted, guess who first 
person he sees in front of him. For the first time that he can see now, but he sees Christ in front of him. What a blessing that when someone receives his sight, is able to see first Christ in front of him. So when we ourselves need healing, why we don't just call out, even shout all the more, as the blind beggar did, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And when we do this once, twice, thrice, I'm sure Christ will be walking to us saying, again, what do you want me to do for you? What would you say? Would we say where we need healing? Would we know that all we need is a restoration of our spiritual sight? Because we are not physically blind. But a lot of time we may be spiritually blind. And we are, when we are granted restored spiritual sight, we too, like the blind man, once our eyes are open, once our hearts are open, when our minds are open, we will see Christ first before us. We will see him, you know why and how? We will see him in everyone around us. And not only that we see Christ before us in everyone, but also will be able to proclaim with the Apostle Paul saying, I no longer live, but Christ live in me. This is what happens to us when we fully experience the beautiful relationship with Christ. St. Paul said it very well because he had experienced it very well. He said, I no longer live. But Christ live in me. That means his whole life, our whole life will become united 100% in everything we do with Christ. Today, the blind man becomes for the crowd around him and us a witness to God's power. In his gratitude and perseverance, he himself becomes an icon of praise with Christ imprinted on him and that gratitude is contagious and those around him rejoice the same can happen to us if we cry out loud son of David have mercy on us and when we are healed we can also become witnesses to God's power and everyone around us will also rejoice. You see, even in the midst of this ongoing pandemic, even in the midst of our ongoing pain, even in grief, even in times of depression, we can still offer acts of love to bring the image of Christ to those around us and make them all also rejoice. See, as Christ, God the Son is the bridge for us to God the Father. Let us also become bridges for everyone. Yes, we can all serve as bridges for people. So let us become like the blind man of the gospel who was a beggar and immediately after receiving his sight, he followed Jesus. And guess what? He also became a giver. So let us all today become givers. Glory to Jesus Christ.
Amen. Let us all say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray the hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray the hearken. And have mercy. Again, we pray for our Metropolitan Ticot, for Archbishop Ilene, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for this country, Her Majesty the Queen, the Prime Minister of Canada. For all civil authorities and for the armed forces. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this Holy Church, and for all our fathers and brethren, Lord, who departed this life before us, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servant of God, Gilbert, Eva, Andreas, Christine, the brethren of this holy temple, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and the good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present, who with thy great and rich mercy. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom that guarded always by thy might, we may send thy glory to thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever, and unto ages of ages. No one is bound with the desires and pleasures of the flesh is worthy to approach or to draw thee or to serve thee, O King of glory, for to minister to thee is great and fearful even to the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, to unspeakable and boundless love for mankind, thou didst become man without change or alteration, didst become our high priest, and as master of all that commit to us the mystery of this liturgical blood, this sacrifice. For thou alone, O Lord our God, rulest over those in heaven and earth, who are born of the throne of the Sherebim, Lord of the Sherebim, and King of Israel, who alone are holy and does rest in the saints. Therefore, I entreat thee, who alone are good and ready to listen, look down on me, thy sinful and profitable servant, and cleanse my soul and my heart from evil conscience, and by the power of thy Holy Spirit enable me, whom clothed with the grace of the priesthood, to perform this sacred mystery of thy holy and most pure body and precious blood. For I draw dear to thee, and bowing my neck, I implore thee, do not turn thy face away from me, nor cast me out from among thy children, but make me thy sinful and worthy servant, worthy to offer these gifts to thee. All other souls are he that offers and is offered, that accept and distribute it, O Christ our God. And to thee do we send our glory together with the Father, who is without beginning, and then all holy, good and life giving spirit now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
Oh, come now, let's worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Oh, come now, let's worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Oh, come now, let's worship and fall down before the very Christ, our King and our God. الحمد لله العظيم الحمدك وكرسك السلطة الأفتك وما أثبي أخسني كثيرا من إثبي ومن خطيئتي تظهرني لأنني أنا عارف بإثبي وخطيئتي أمامي في كل حين يديك وحدك خطأ الشر قدامك صنع كما تستب في أهواك وتغن في محاكمتك فأنا ذا بالأثام الحب الهبي وبالخطايا والأثام الهبي أنك قد أحببت الحق وأضحت لغضبك وحنت تسمعني سرورا وبهشة فتبتاج إلى الدليل اسف وشكا الخطايا وحلم آثمي قلبا نقيا نخلق فيه والله وروحا نستقي وجدت في أحشائي لا تترحل لنا بشكا وحلم لا تترحل لنا إنحني بهشة خلاصك وحلم ياسين فأعلم لا سبت بقولك في إنهي كيرشا Christ holy him to the life created tree to lay aside all earthly cares that we may receive the king of all who comes and visit me aboard by Angelicos. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us so mystically represent the Shirabim seek the Christ holy him to the life created tree to lay aside all earthly cares that we may receive the king of all who comes and visit me aboard by Angelicos. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us humistically represent the shirib in sync to try to solve him to the life created to the delay aside all earthly cares that we may receive the king of all who comes and visibly are born by the angelic host. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Oh God, cleanse me, sinner. Oh God, cleanse me, sinner. Oh God, cleanse me, sinner. Forgive me, my brothers. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters. of ages for all metropolitan deacon archbishop Irene may the Lord God remember them in his kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages her majesty the queen the prime minister of Canada for all civil authorities and for armed forces everywhere May the Lord God remember them all in his kingdom 
always now and ever and into ages of ages. For the service of God, all the parishioners, seekers, friends, and visitors of the sign of the Theotokos, that they may have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, pardon, and remission all their sins. Our prayers for the sick and suffering, our prayers for our shut in parishioners, our prayers for Christine, Gilbert, Eva, and Andreas. May the Lord God remember them all in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the servants of God departed this life in the hope of the resurrection and life eternal. For the newly departed of God, Elisabetta, and for all your beloved ones departed this life. May the Lord God remember them all in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. And all of you, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord for oh, this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord that we may be delivered from all affliction, rest, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful God, a God of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon the remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace of the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to a life blameless, blameless, and peaceful, and good defense before the judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance all most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious, Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us command ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To the compassion of the only begotten Son, with whom thou blessed together, with an all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. 
I love you, O Lord, my Savior, Lord, my firm foundation, my refuge, and my deliverer. I love you, O Lord. The Lord's my firm foundation, my deliverer. I love you, O Lord. My Savior, the Lord, my firm foundation, my refuge, and my. Christ is now our midst. He is and always shall be. The doors, the doors in wisdom, Lord, are set I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The only begotten, begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of God. Begotten of being of one essence with the Father, but all things were made. Who for us men and all our salvation came down from heaven. And was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became dead. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. And descended into heaven and sits on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to trust the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, will proceed from the Father. Who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified and spoke by the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead in the life of the world to come. Let us stand alive, let us stand with fear, let us sit that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts. Let's give thanks unto the Lord. It is meet and right to him thee to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks to thee, and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, and eternally the same. Thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Thou it was who brought us from non existence into being. 
And when we have fallen away, it raises us up again and does not cease to do all things until thou had brought us up to heaven and had endowed us with the, us with thy kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks to thee and to thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. And thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. For all things of which we know and of which we know not. For all the benefits bestowed upon us, whether manifest or unseen. And when we thank thee for this, for this liturgy, which thou had deigned to accept at our hands, though there stand by thee thousands of archangels and hosts of angels, the cherubim, the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, who soar aloft, born on their pinions. Sing it, the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and Power of Master loves mankind, we also cry aloud and say, Holy are thou and an all holy, thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Holy are thou and an all holy and magnificent is thy glory. Who has so loved the world as to give thine only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Who and had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us. In the night in which he was given up, or rather, gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread in his holy, most pure and blameless hands. And when he had given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broke it, that he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Remember the saving commandments and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming. Offering unto thee thy own of thy own on behalf of all and for all. to descend down thy most holy spirit upon thine apostles at the third hour take him not from us O good one but to you him in us who pray unto thee O Lord to descend down thy most holy spirit upon thine apostles at the third hour take him not from us O good one but to you him in us who pray unto thee O Lord to descend down thy most holy spirit upon thine apostles at the third hour take him not from us O good one but to you him in us who pray unto thee Oh, 
again we offer unto thee this rational and bloodless worship and ask thee and pray thee and supplicate thee send down thy holy spirit upon us and upon these gifts here offered and make this bread the precious body of thy christ amen, amen. and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy christ amen, amen. changing them by thy holy spirit amen amen amen, amen. 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 that they may be those who partake for vigilance of soul for the remission of sins, for the communion of thy Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness with thee, not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer unto thee this rational worship for those who have fallen asleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. For the Holy Prophet, for the Baptist John, for the Holy, Glorious, and all of the Apostles. For all the saints whose memory we keep this day and, and whose supplication we visit us, O God. And remember all those who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, eternal life, especially newly departed, and grant them rest to all. God, where the light of that country shines on them, again we entreat thee, remember, O Lord, all those who have skipped to write the white word of the truth, all the rest of the eternity, the ugly Christ, the every order of the church, and again we offer to this national worship for the whole world, for the whole Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those who live in the city and all of us are fine, for all sinners, all of us are and all graceful governors that we and their tranquility may lead a calm and peaceful life, and all of God and sanctity. Among the first, remember, Lord, our Metropolitan Deacon and Archbishop Irenae, grant them for all thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly to divide the world of thy truth. And grant that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and praise thy all honorable and majestic name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. All the precious gifts now offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God will love us mankind, having received them upon his holy and noetic altar above the heavens as a sweet spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us in return divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. That we may be delivered from all affliction, rest, danger, 
and necessity let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us to God by thy grace. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us command ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation, we may dare to call on Thee, the heavenly God as Father, and to say, Hallowed be Thy name, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Puissance et la gloire, Père et Fils et Saint-Esprit, maintenant et toujours et dans les siècles des siècles. Paix à tous. Inclinez la tête devant le Seigneur. Nous te rendons grâce. Ô roi invisible, toi qui par ta puissance a tout créé, qui par l'abondance de ta miséricorde a tu amené du néant à l'être. Toi-même, maître abaisse ton regard du haut du ciel sur ceux qui ont la tête inclinée non devant la chair et le sang, mais devant toi, Dieu redoutable. Toi donc, maître, répartis entre nous tous les dons posés ici pour notre bien Selon le besoin propre de chacun, navigue avec ceux qui sont en mer, fais route avec les voyageurs, guéris les malades, au médecin de nos âmes et de nos corps. Par la grâce, les miséricordes et l'amour pour les hommes, de ton Fils unique avec lequel tu es béni, ainsi que ton Esprit très saint, bon et vivant maintenant et toujours et dans les siècles des siècles. Sois attentif, Seigneur Jésus-Christ, notre Dieu, du haut de ta sainte demeure et du trône de gloire de ton royaume, et viens nous sanctifier. Toi qui sièges au ciel avec le Père et qui es invisiblement présent ici avec nous, daigne nous distribuer de ta main puissante ton corps immaculé et ton sang précieux, et par nous à tout le peuple. O oh God, cleanse me sin, have mercy upon me. O oh Dieu, sois moi propice et pitié de moi, pécheur. O oh God, cleanse me sinner and have mercy on me. Let us sit in the holy things are for the holy. Broken and this 
distributed is the Lamb of God, broken, yet not divided, never eaten, not ever eaten, yet never consumed, that sanctifying those who partake thereof. The fullness of the Holy Spirit. Blessed is the warmth of thy holy things, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I believe, O oh Lord, and I, and I confess, confess that Thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who camest into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I believe also that this is truly Thine own most pure body, and that this is truly Thine own precious blood. Therefore I pray Thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary. Of word and of deed, committed in knowledge. The precious and body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is important to me. The unworthy. Our peace, Paul, for the remission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Thy mystical sufferer, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies. Neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss. But like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord. The precious blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is important to me, the unworthy. Be neither to my judgment, nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of souls. For the remission of my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Lord, this has touched my lips and shall take away my iniquities and my sins. O people and bless thy inheritance. We have seen the eternal life. We have received the heavens. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens and the glory over all the earth. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens and the glory over all the earth. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens and the glory over all the earth. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Partake 
And the bride having partaking of the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life giving, and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthy to give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be peaceful and stillness, let us command ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For our sanctification and to thee, do we send our glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord who blesses those who bless thee and sanctify those who trust thee. Save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and return by thy divine power. And forsake us not who put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy word, to thy churches, to thy priests. To all those in several authorities, to our forces. And to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Coming down from thee the Father of lights. And unto thee do we send our glory, thanksgiving and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. O Christ our God, who thyself to fulfill the law and the prophet, who this fulfilled the dispensation of the Father, fill our hearts with joy and gladness always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord and sport and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you to his grace and light, always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Glory to thee, Christ our God, and our hope, glory to thee. From the dead Christ, our true God, through the intercession of His Holy Immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, and the supplication of the honorable glorious prophets and forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles of our Father among the Saint John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the sign of the Theotokos, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestor of God, Joachim and Anna, of the hero martyr Clement, Bishop of Ankara, martyr Agathangelos, and Paulinus, Bishop of Nola, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he has much is good and love us, may God. To the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us and save us.
Beloved in the Lord, warmest greetings to all of you watching us on our YouTube channel. This morning I would like to especially thank all of you for the beautiful messages sent to me this last week. Greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Again, I humbly pray that you are all well, safe, and in good health. This morning, I would like to remind you again that it is the time of the year to offer your annual stewardship pledge for the year 2022. Please remember that you may do it online on our website. You may click on pledge 2022 and fill in the form and click on submit and it is done. You may also send it by mail, of course, to the church. Thank you in advance for your continuous, beautiful and generous donations and support to this holy community. I also would like to remind you that our annual general meeting will be held on Sunday, February 27th at 6 p.m. via Zoom. Please mark your calendar. We want you all to be at the meeting. Pray with us. and Of course, share with us all your concerns. The Zoom link will be sent out to all of you. Today at 3 p.m., you are all invited to the service for the week of prayer for Christian via Zoom. We already sent you the invitation. You might go back to the emails and check the link so you can join us this afternoon at 3 p.m. This celebration, of course, is organized by Canadian Center for Ecumenism. I'll be representing our Orthodox Parish of the sign of the Theotokos, and I will be praying from here from our church. So please join me and pray with us. Thank you to all who helped in removing the Christmas decoration and, of course, in the cleaning of the church. And thank you to all also who helped delivering the Holy Epiphany water to all our parishioners. We're still, we are still not done. we we'll keep delivering as we can. Please, for all your prayers, anniversaries, memorial services, please do not hesitate to contact me, be it by text message, messenger, emails, and if you don't have the three, these three means, you can call. Today, I especially ask you to pray for Gilbert. Our beloved Gilbert is currently in the hospital. I visited him a few days ago. He was really in good spirit. We prayed together. And I humbly ask you, please, pray for him. Pray for Eva. And also pray for our beloved Andreas and Christine. Please remember that we all need at this time of this current pandemic and the tough restrictions, we all need to support each other. So let us continue loving and supporting each other. I truly hope that soon I'll be able seeing you here in the parish and receive First, Holy Communion. Let us pray that things will get better. Of course, we need to do it, of course, when everything is safe, is safe. So let us pray about it. And thank you so much. And I wish you all a blessed and great week. May God bless you all. I send my love to all those who are watching us online. Love you all. God bless you and hope see you soon. Take care.